Hey, so in this video you will learn about the mind-body connection. So I'm going to take a walk into Richmond today with my girlfriend Charlie and it gives me the perfect opportunity to show you something which reminds me of a lesson that my hero used to teach about how the mind and body are connected. You'll also learn how you can use the mind-body connection to your advantage. Okay, let's crack on with it. Okay, so I'm freaking out because this is the first time I've ever filmed anything outside and it feels like everybody's watching me. Um, but on my, way, on my way, I'm on my way to show you this thing, uh, which is uh, half a mile in kind of that direction. And now I live in half a mile in that direction. Uh, so we're just on our way there. Um, and in the meantime... So Bill Walsh was the legendary coach of the San Francisco 49ers NFL team from 1979 to 1998. And he's considered to be one of the greatest coaches there's ever been in any sport. Now during his time in charge, the 49ers won three Super Bowls and had a win ratio of over 60% of their games. And as if that's not enough, He's credited with changing the way the game of American football is played by creating an intricate system of advancing up the field towards a score called the West Coast Offense. And the West Coast Offense is still in evidence in the game today. One of Bill Walsh's favorite lessons was the inevitability of failure. And he thought that failure was a prerequisite on the way to success. So he wanted his teams prepared for defeat. And he would teach this by telling a story. He said that when a wildebeest or zebra is finally trapped by a lion, it submits to the inevitable. Its head drops, its eyes glaze over, it stands motionless and accepts its fate. He said that the posture of defeat is also demonstrated by a man, chin down, head dropped and shoulders slumped. And he said that some players adopt this posture in the game when things are going against them. By contrast, the lion needs to make itself as big as possible to tackle its prey, which is larger than it. He would add, even in the most impossible situations, stand tall, head up, shoulders back and chest out. Keep moving, running, looking up, demonstrating your pride, dignity and defiance. Body language is incredibly important and it can affect what's going on in your mind. Posture has the power to change your body on a chemical level. Amy Cuddy gave a great TED talk about posture, how it can affect your thoughts and performance. And I'll put a link to it down in the description. It's well worth a watch. In her talk, she highlighted new research which shows that low power postures raise cortisol levels, which is the primary hormone involved in stress. Now by contrast, high power postures lower cortisol levels. Now just think of the typical driver when he or she is stuck in traffic. They'll be hunched over the steering wheel, gripping it really tight with their hands, and with their shoulders hunched up around their ears. And if they're late for an appointment, their blood's probably boiling. And research shows that you can fake the chemical composition of a body just by adopting a different posture. Now, maybe you've been in a situation like that driver where you've been hunched over the steering wheel in a traffic jam, or maybe you've caught yourself when you've been hunched over a laptop and tapping away. Now, when you catch yourself, the natural response is to roll your shoulders and maybe give yourself a bit of a stretch. Almost immediately, you'll feel better getting yourself into a taller, looser posture. Cuddy says that by adopting a high power posture, we'll calm your nerves, reduce anxiety and improve performance. So when you're under pressure, which do you think it's better to adopt a high power or a low power posture? Now I want the athletes in my teams having high power body language, raised chin, head up, shoulders back, chest out, making themselves as physically big as possible. And I want them like this in all situations, even if they feel low. So this is what I wanted to show you. Um, I used to live uh, a little bit that way and um, I used to pass this guy every day and he used to remind me of that lesson that Bill Walsh taught. That giving yourself a high power posture will lower your cortisol levels, make you less stressed and be better able to perform your best. So I think you should be a lion and not a zebra. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.